Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. January 21st, Saturday, Romans chapter 15, verse 7. Accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Amen. For many years, our family would invite a bunch of friends every summer up to our lodge in Canada. We spent weeks getting ready, and when we finally saw the boat bringing them in from several miles away, we would jump into a boat and speed out to greet them. One of the things I have loved most is that we host people from all walks of life from many differing worldviews, from every side of a debate, from places locked in war with each other, and everywhere in between. People who usually sit at different tables join my family for the week at the same table, laughing together and dreaming some dreams. Since when did we decide as a community of faith that having the same beliefs and opinions was a prerequisite for loving, accepting, and welcoming someone? It's not enough to just tolerate or be polite to people we disagree with and for them to merely do this with us. We need to love each other without an agenda. Do it any other way and we signal to each other that others need to be like us or to be liked by us. The cost of acceptance is way too high if it costs people who God made them to be. Life is so much better when we get to be authentically who we are and others get to be authentically who they are. All of this isn't part of a plan to make other people change. It's all done in the hopes that we'll change. And guess what? It works. The people I used to think of as difficult, I now think of as delightfully different. We don't just tolerate those who are different from us at the lodge. We celebrate them. We delight in a way each person shows us a side of ourselves or Jesus we hadn't quite seen until we met them. Instead of implying to people that they need to change in order to be welcome at the table, let them know they are welcome just as they are. You don't need to be someone else to be loved by God, and no one else does either. If you want to dazzle God, Go be you. Let's pray. God, let us be authentic. Let us be us. Let us go and love others as they are, because we know we are loved just as we are. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.